Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot, and I also have Giganta, Mathy's cousin, here. In this lesson, we're going to study about dividing evenly into groups, which is a very common meaning for division. It's basically we are sharing evenly, okay? For example, here I have eight apples, and let's say that we divide those eight apples evenly between Mathy and Giganta. So how many apples will each get? Four apples, right? That's easy. And we can write a division from this situation. Eight divided by two equals four. Two goes here because there are two mammoths that are sharing those apples. Okay? And yeah, Giganta, now you can go get some apples, okay? Yum yum. Yeah. Let's make groups. Those are Giganton's apples, and then those are Mathy's apples. And if you're a good boy and you stay on my shoulder, you'll get to eat maybe some berries too. Over here, we have some fish. And divide by four. Now think of it as that we are going to divide these eight fish between four people. Okay? And how many will each get? We have eight fish. We're going to divide them evenly or share them evenly between four people. And so each will get two fish, right? Or over here, I have 12 berries. Dividing by three, think of it as sharing evenly between three people. How many will each person get? So, okay, maybe this way. Like that. Each person will get four berries. We have already studied the meaning of division where we made groups of certain size. And now in this lesson, I've shown you the sharing division where we share evenly. So, for each division problem, you can think of it in two different ways. For example, 16 divided by 8. One way to think about it is that you make groups of 8. You have 16 berries, and you're going to make groups of 8, and you ask, how many groups will I get? So if I make groups of eight, there's eight, and there's eight. How many groups? Two groups. And the division is 16 divided by eight equals two. And the other way to think about it is with equal sharing. You have 16 berries, and you're going to share them between eight people. Okay? Or you're going to make eight groups. And then you don't know how many goes in each group initially. That's what you're solving. And I know it's going to be two, so I can make my groups like that. This division is also 16 divided by 8 equals 2. Okay, here's a bunch of blueberries, right? Matthew loves blueberries. Yeah. Share these equally between four people. Or maybe four mammoths. I just don't have four mammoths. So how many would each mammoth get? Ah, uh, okay. You cannot just draw groups. You have to basically solve it first. There are 24 berries. And we divide by 4. What number goes here? Think of multiplication, right? What number times 4 gives you 24? It is 6. So now we know that each Mammoth will get six berries, and now I can make my groups. Six berries into each group. Yeah, yeah, you can go get some berries, okay. Three children shared evenly $36 that they earned by doing yard work. I don't have a question for this. But what would be the question? What would we ask in this situation? Three children, they're sharing evenly $36. So how much would each child get, right? And we can write a division. You can write it too, right? $36 when dividing it evenly between three children. And each child gets how much? Think of multiplication. What times three gives you 36? This is 12. And then, ah, Giganta. Another word problem about you. Giganta arranged his 24 toy cars into 
three equal size groups. What shall we ask in this word problem? He has 24 toy cars, he's gonna arrange them into three groups, three piles. So how many in each pile, right? And it's a division word problem, so we write a division, 24 divided by 3. Now can you solve it, Giganto? He, he could! Yes, 8. 8 cars in each group. Lastly, I have two puzzles for you, and I think this can be a little tricky. So, if you want to try, pause the video now and try them. But soon I'm going to give you a hint. And the hint is that try put a number here in this box first. Any number like one, two, three, four, some small number, okay? Let's say that I put three there. And then you can solve it. You can choose to put two or four, one, whatever, okay? If three goes here, then I have a division here. Something divided by three equals five. So how would you solve that? Yeah, Matthew knows. Multiply. Yes, go backwards this way and multiply. 5 times 3 equals 15. And then do the same here. You don't know the beginning number or the total in this division. So multiply. 4 times 15 equals 60. And then over here, one more time. Multiply this way. 4 times 3 equals 12. And then check here, 60 divided by 12 equals 5. Is that true? Yes, because 5 times 12 equals 60. How about this one? Of course, you can use the same hint. Put something here. An easy number. And now we go 4 times 1 equals 4. And what goes here? 12, and what goes here? 6. However, it has many other solutions too, okay? This is not the only solution. So you can just draw it on your paper, empty, and give it to your friend or whatever and find many solutions. We're all done with this list.